OneDrive is Microsoft's online storage solution. This is by far probably one of the most important reasons why you would want to have a Microsoft account linked to your Windows 10 installation. OneDrive gives you 25 gigabytes of online storage for free and you can basically put anything up there. Um, it can be used by some applications to save data so that it can sync across devices. Windows actually uses it to sync your settings across devices. You can upload your photos there. And the great thing about OneDrive is that it is available basically on every device now. You can download the OneDrive application for Windows, obviously, um, Windows Phone, iOS, Macintosh, Android, Kindle, and it's on the web. So really, anything you put on OneDrive is accessible everywhere. If you're an Office 365 user, you actually get one terabyte of storage online. And then there's other ways you can get additional storage via Bing Rewards, things like that. Um, but 25 gigs is for most people is still plenty of space. So let's go and see what we need to do to set that up. Now I go to the Start menu. And it's not here at the moment, so I can either go to All Apps, and I can scroll down to OneDrive, or I can just do what I like to do and start typing. And I got to 1D, and you can see that it already put OneDrive up for me. So I click on OneDrive, and it's totally integrated right now. So it's already on my system in the File Explorer. And this, it's made a documents for me, and it's made a pictures and getting started with OneDrive. This green check mark means that it is synced online. Now, I've just gone and saved a screenshot from the snipping tool. As you saw, it had that little sync symbol, and now it's check marked. That means it's synced up to OneDrive, the little capture that I made, and that green check mark is there, so it's available everywhere. Um, if I went back to the Photos app, like in our previous section, right now, it would look to see if there's other photos. You can see that it just added that. It's saved to my OneDrive. It's not in my pictures. Uh, it's on my OneDrive, but it's automatically set up to get pictures and photos from my OneDrive. And it added it there. You know, I go to OneDrive on the web for the first time, and you can see that it's giving me lots of options to get some extra storage right off the bat. I can get an extra 15 gigs just by automatically uploading photos to OneDrive. So let's see, view details. Sure, I have 15, I have 30 gigs available. 15 gigs right away. Or I can send out a link like on Facebook or something to get some free storage. So I'm going to follow through with the wizard here on the site and click get started. I've already done the backup for 15 gigabytes. But you can see right here, I can download Windows Phone, App Store, Google Play. It's already built into Windows 10. Let's click Next. It's basically already installed. And I can go ahead and I can invite friends if I wanted to and get an extra 500 megabytes of storage for every person that I um, refer. Looking right away at my pictures, I can see that there are three in there. And I just want to show you that you can already see the thumbnail of the capture that I made. So it is available online. I can select it and then I have the option to download it. I can even order prints. I can share it out with people. And I can do all the same thing from the uh, application itself. And just a little secret so you know, when you're online on Microsoft service sites such as OneDrive, this little grid of squares this lets you get some quick online access to a lot of services you're eligible to, including your mail and your contacts, um, as well as um, online versions of Office. So just by being a OneDrive customer, you do have the ability to use Word uh, online. It's not as fully functional as the desktop version of Word. It will let you create documents. It'll let you work on documents. It'll view documents. Um, you know, from a basic word processing standpoint, it's good to go. And it's fully integrated into your OneDrive. It'll save files to your OneDrive. You can even add a Dropbox account and you can share links. And if I did own Word, I could open it in Word right here.
Now the other piece of OneDrive is it acts really like a drive on your computer. Um, you can add folders, you can add files. One thing you want to know about as well, if you go down to your system tray, you'll see that there's a little OneDrive icon and it says it's up to date. If you click on this, it opens that folder. If you right click on it though, you get options to go to their online, to manage the storage and the settings. So if I clicked on the manage the storage, it takes me online back to where I have the option to, to tell me how much I have, how I can get more storage, whether I buy it or I get some for free, or I redeem, it, redeem a code from Bing Rewards or some other uh, opportunity like that. So let's go back to right-clicking on OneDrive and go to Settings. I would leave this checked. Um, across. It keeps it integrated, keeps it running, makes it part of your PC, very seamless experience. Using OneDrive to fetch any of my files on this PC, if you do this, if you notice when we were online, and I'll show you this at one point here, um, let's go back, I'm going to click this, I'm going to click OK, I'm going to go back to OneDrive online, so now in the list of PCs I can see uh, those machines, and I can, I can really get to any files on there, I can drive the C drive, and I can take a look around, um, I can retrieve files that aren't just in my um, OneDrive folder. So that's pretty powerful. OneDrive can actually... I can choose which folders I want syncing on this PC. So, I mean, since I have 30 gigs of storage online, and if I fill that up, um, you know, I may not want that all downloaded to my tablet device, but only certain folders. So it shows me the folders that I have available and how much space that they take up. You know, right now it's not doing anything 648k but I may not want to have all my pictures download or any files that not in a folder so I'm going to uncheck that and they're going to stay in OneDrive and they won't be on this PC if they're on this PC they're going to be deleted I'm going to click OK I would leave this set again for uh, uploading files in batches and just click OK so now there was that getting started document that was here uh, it's not on my computer anymore, but if we go to OneDrive.com, you can see that it's still online. So it's available, it's just not synced to my computer. One thing to note too, there is a recycle bin on OneDrive, so if I did delete it from here, um, it's not gone until I empty the recycle bin. So just to do a quick recap, OneDrive pretty much integrated into your system via the Explorer. It's right there in your quick access with uh, OneDrive. Um, you can go to the start menu and just type OneDrive. It's essentially going to open up the same window. Your system icon, you've got the folder where you can manage syncing and uh, get to the storage and everything. Very useful tool, especially since it's available across basically every device out there. Have access to your photos, have access to your documents. I look at OneDrive as the what if the house burns down option too. If you have something on your computer, you know, even if it's backed up to an external hard drive, um, if the house burns down, that hard drive burns too. If it's on your OneDrive, then it is off in the cloud and it is secure and it's safe. And if the house burns down, you can still get to it um, somehow. So it's a great place to put important documents, a great place to put important pictures. Um, and it's a great place, of course, to put things that you would need access to at any time you want to have access to them.